One of the biggest challenges that we face as dropshippers is knowing exactly what products to sell. With so many dropshipping suppliers and millions and millions of products to sell, it's no wonder that we can get easily lost inside all of these products, list a whole bunch, and then wonder why our stores are not selling or not selling enough. That will not be the case for you if you watch this video because here I'm going to talk about the best product finding methods, the best way to conduct product research for the Facebook marketplace so that your store will also start selling just like our stores. So watch this quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Niran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, we're going to talk about the best ways to conduct product research for the Facebook marketplace so that you can find real hot trending products to sell on your Facebook marketplace shop or store or whatever you wanna call it. Now, one second before we begin, I wanna remind you guys, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part right now where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world. And also like this video if you appreciate the value. Having said that, let's get this show on the road. How can we find the best products to sell on the Facebook marketplace? Let's begin. To start off, the two main suppliers that we're going to talk about in this video is Amazon and Banggood. And the reason for that is because Facebook requires, or they don't actually require, but they recommend you to use either UPS, FedEx or USPS shipping labels when you provide tracking information. And that is because Facebook can track those packages and see that they really got delivered to the end customer. And if the end customer, if the person who's buying from your store opens a claim on Facebook that they did not receive the product and you didn't use UPS, USPS, or FedEx tracking numbers, then you will have a much harder time proving to Facebook and proving to the buyer that the package was delivered. Now, this will not be the case for you in most scenarios, since once a buyer receives their product, they're not going to open an item not received case, but you also wanna get your payments faster from Facebook. And in order to get the payments right away, up to one or two days after the customer gets their product, you wanna use UPS, USPS, or FedEx tracking numbers. So this is a big recommendation, it's not a must, but it will help you maintain a better cash flow and win item not received cases if the package really was delivered. It will be very easy to prove it. So Amazon and Banggood, these are the two suppliers that offer UPS, USPS, and FedEx tracking information in most of their orders. Amazon sometimes uses other shipping carriers, but Banggood, most of the time, those are the shipping tracking information that you are going to get from those shipping carriers. So let's start with those suppliers and see how we can find the best products to sell from there. Believe me, there is more than enough products inside these two suppliers to really start profiting well on the Facebook marketplace. And if you've been watching our videos, you can also see our Facebook marketplace dropshipping account. We have a YouTube video that I uploaded recently to our YouTube channel where you can really see the products that I'm selling, where I'm getting them from, how much I'm profiting and so forth. So let's go ahead and begin the product research session. The first thing that you wanna do on Amazon or on Banggood is go to their best seller section and see what's selling there. Why do we do this? Because this increases the chance of importing a product that really will sell and it won't just sit there collecting virtual dust. So the first thing that we wanna do is see what's selling. So we're going to click here on top sellers. Now we can choose any category that we want to find these best selling products. For example, let's go with lights and lighting. So here are the top products that have been selling in the lights and lighting category. And these are good products. I can already see some of them that already are on my dropshipping stores. So this is a great place to begin. What you wanna do next is start importing these products to your stores. Now, I'm not going to go over the import process here. We have more than enough videos on how to import products from any one of your suppliers to AutoDS and from there to the Facebook Marketplace. Now, the good news here is you are not limited to the amount of listings that you can list on the Facebook Marketplace. So you can start off by listing, let's say 10 best-selling products on each and every one of these categories. You will see once they are imported to your Facebook Marketplace store and you enable the shipping options, you will start to get sales, not on every listing, but on the bigger portion of them. They will start to sell and once a product starts to sell, what you wanna do is search for more products that are similar to that one that just sold or a different product with similar features, different variations, different colors, styles, forms and shapes and etc. so forth. Now you may be asking yourself, isn't this a little bit too simple just going to a supplier, 
clicking on the best selling products and start listing those products i mean aren't these products way oversaturated everyone is drop shipping them and people that want to buy them already have more than enough sellers who are selling them the answer to that is true but it really depends on what selling channel for example if you try importing these products to ebay you will most likely already find them there but if you search for them on the Facebook marketplace, you'll see that nobody else is selling them. That is because it is an untapped marketplace and now is really the best time to join. If you haven't done that yet, if you haven't joined, if you haven't started selling on the Facebook marketplace yet, then I highly recommend to check out our YouTube channel because we have more than enough content on the Facebook marketplace as you can see right here in front of me and also our blog page where once again, you have a lot of content on the Facebook marketplace like the requirements that you need right before you begin the best Facebook marketplace categories to dropship and also a full in-depth A to Z guide on how to dropship on the Facebook marketplace from A to Z. Now let's get back to the topic at hand. So we talked about going to your suppliers pages and checking out their best selling products. Those are the ones that you want to list on the Facebook marketplace. You don't need to check any competition, simply list your products. There is no limit to the amount that you can list. So it's a very easy place to start. And all you need actually is a Facebook account. As long as you have a Facebook account and you meet the rest of the requirements that we wrote on the requirements to dropship on the Facebook marketplace, then you can start selling right now today. So as soon as you go to these best selling pages, the best selling categories, the best selling products inside the best selling categories, as I mentioned, what you want to do is start listing them to the Facebook marketplace. You can use the one click importer like you see right here. You can use the AutoDS extension to grab all of the products on one page, extract them, export as a CSV and simply import that CSV file. And this is if you just want to do it in bulk. If you want to import as many listings as you can without wasting too much time. This whole process takes about one minute. So dive into these best selling categories add all of the products that you see on these pages and you will start to notice what starts to sell and start multiplying by adding more products that are similar to those ones that are selling. Now let's see how that is done on Amazon. So here I am on Amazon and on the top left, you're going to click on best sellers. That will take you to this best sellers page. Now, the thing is Amazon is different from Banggood because not every category here on the left side on Amazon is perfect for the dropshipping business model. Some of these categories are not relevant at all. That is why you really want to read the best Facebook marketplace categories for dropshipping in 2021. And here you have a list of the categories that you do want to go inside and dropship from and what categories you want to stay away from. So give that a good read. We also have a video on it on our YouTube channel. And once you know what products you can and what you cannot sell, then you'll know what category you can dive into. For example, home and kitchen is great for the dropshipping business model. So I'm in the best seller section. I clicked on home and kitchen and here I can break down the categories some more. So let's go with home decor. Here are the best selling home decor products. And as you see here, I can still break it down even some more. And this is always a great idea because that way you're getting less and less saturated products. Even though there is no such thing as saturation right now in the Facebook marketplace, it is a great idea to narrow it down, break it down and find that niche, find that sweet spot that is selling well and start adding as many products as you can from that niche. So here, for example, let's go with doormats. And that's it, we cannot break this down any further. This is the final subcategory. So what I wanna do here is add these doormats that have tens of thousands of reviews on Amazon and no one's selling them on the Facebook marketplace. So what you wanna do is simply start listing them. You can add them once again using the one-click importer if you wanna save time or using that extract feature that I showed you here. So I'm going to delete and extract and here are all of the item IDs from Amazon from this page into this little extension, extract it, export as a CSV and import that CSV on the add products on AutoDS, upload CSV and it's that easy to add those products to AutoDS and then to the Facebook marketplace. So that is how simple it is to grab best selling products and products that will start to sell on your Facebook marketplace store. What you wanna do is simply go inside some of these best selling categories narrow down the categories, get to the last subcategory and start adding those products. This is really the best way to start selling on the Facebook marketplace. I also have virtual assistants on my Facebook marketplace stores and this product research method simply proves itself over and over again. Right now is really the best time to start selling on the Facebook marketplace. I cannot stress that out enough. And if you've watched my previous videos and also a live case study that will start to show up 
on our YouTube channel soon, you will see everything that I'm doing inside my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account, every product that I'm importing, how I'm doing it. You know already how I'm doing the product research because I showed you in this video. And I would like to leave you with another tip right before this video finishes. So when you start selling these best-selling products, there is another way to get even more products that are similar to those ones that are selling, but really get it before everyone else and really kill the competition here. So for example, if I know that a product is selling well for me and I already added more products that are similar to that one, what I want to do next is beat the competition before it even begins on the newer products that are going to come out in this category. So here's what I mean. For example, let's go back to Banggood. And instead of top sellers, best sellers, we're going to click on new arrivals. You can also find it on Amazon right here on new releases on this top bar right here. So you have new releases, new arrivals, whatever you want to call it. Now here, what you want to do is you don't want to play the random game. You don't want to just start adding any new product that just added itself to Amazon or to Banggood because there is no proof that this is a good product and that you're not wasting your time. So what you want to do here is look for products that are already selling well for you. For example, if you just sold a gaming keyboard or an LED keyboard like the one that you're seeing here, and now you want to look for new products that just came out in this field, then here you can see it. So you clicked on the new releases and you went to the right category and then you want to add more products that are similar to the one that just sold for you. So here's this keyboard. Here's another nice colorful keyboard. Let's get that, that one too. And I can also click on the category. So this belongs on the computer or maybe it's consumer electronics here, computers and office. And here I can find more keyboards. Since I found that a keyboard started selling well for me, now I wanna add more and more. So I'm just going to open them in new tabs. And as you see here, I have all of these tabs open with all of these keyboards. And all I have to do is click on this import to auto DS button and continue multiplying my success from there. Now, once again, the biggest advantage here is that you're going to start selling products before everyone else is selling them. And it's not just any random product from the new seller section. It's products that have sold for you in the past. And you know that these variations have a very high chance of selling again. The best part here is once again, you're doing it way, way before any other dropshipper. Now, on the one hand, right, the Facebook marketplace, I mentioned that it's not saturated so it doesn't matter if you are selling a product that has tens of thousands of reviews on your supplier's website and you can find so many people selling it on eBay and even on Shopify that doesn't mean that it's not going to work on the Facebook marketplace the opposite it has a very high chance of working so definitely check out new releases don't just add any product from new releases but products that have started selling for you so if you haven't started selling yet stay away from new releases stick to the best sellers and add those products and watch them start to sell then look for them in the new releases so that pretty much wraps up this video on how to really find the best products that will sell on the facebook marketplace and also not put your account in jeopardy because you want to use fedex ups and usps on the majority of your orders i hope that you guys found this video informational and that you found a lot of value in it don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel because this is the type of content that we deliver along with so much more thank you for watching and happy dropshipping on the facebook marketplace